Hello, today's Adidas running spikes came in from the running warehouse, so if anyone from running warehouse is watching this video, make sure to comment or contact me via email in the description to maybe establish some sort of review arrangement that we could make if you want to send me something from time to time. Okay, so this is the box from Adidas. It is sort of small, although the shoe's not big. So, on Adidas's website, it says to order these shoes half a size smaller, so I usually have an Adidas 8.5 in men's, but I listened to what Adidas said, and I'm very glad I did so, because these fit me perfectly. Okay, so, on Running Warehouse's website, you can get these free decals basically for free, when you buy anything over $20. And since these bikes usually cost $110, that's pretty much what you can get for free here. And there's plenty of other stuff you can get with a large discount when you buy stuff from Running Warehouse. So this was a really cool gift and I really appreciate that. Okay, so this is just the return info. And here we have the shoes. Keep in mind I already opened this packaging so it was neater and for the purpose of this video I have already screwed in the spikes. So that's why there's no spikes here in the bag. There's just the little wrench and if you could see that, I don't know if you could see that, but there's the Adidas logo on it. Yep, there it is. So there's a tiny Adidas logo on the wrench. It's really functional, it's really easy to use and I'll show you how to use it in a second. Okay, so the paper here is a, has the Adidas logo. It says Adidas all over. So here are the shoes. So some quick info about these shoes. They are laced up, but they do have a nice sock-like tongue. This material is really, really nice. I actually love this material. Like, I have never found this material in any other shoe, so I have no clue what to call it, but you need to check it out yourself. And it has a seamless prime weave upper, so this is the seamless prime weave upper. I like it because it's just so smooth and could be slightly more comfortable when I run, but I'll get to that later. Okay, so it's supposed to be a middle to long distance spike, so about from 400 meters to 10k. So as you can see by all this boost midsole here, that this is a pretty good long distance spike. I have not yet ran anything over a mile in this bike. I have only ran in it once, and I will make sure to make a video about the track session in these shoes. So if you want to see the weight of this shoe in men's size 8, European size European size 41 and a half I will get a little scale get the focus back in okay so the weight in men's size 8 with the spikes in is 149 grams and when I change my units that makes it 5.2 ounces. So it's not the lightest you can get for a spike, but it definitely compensates that with the thick cushioning, which is really quite unusual for spikes like this. So I like these three stripes. They are reflective, but not like reflective reflective. They're not like the Nike type that you could see when a car drives by. This is just like reflective in normal light. It's not coated with anything. So as you could see, the shoe features some like straps that come in on the inside of this material. Don't know if you can really see them, but these are the main reason why I think this shoe might be slightly uncomfortable because if your foot is any bit too wide here they're going to pull on your foot and it's gonna hurt so also the procedure in getting your foot into this shoe 
is also quite complicated. I will attach a hyperlapse of how I struggled to put these shoes on. The thing I will show is how to put these spikes on and off. So for the purpose of this video, just so you don't have to watch me put all of these spikes in and out, I will just use one. So you just put the little wrench on the spike, you have to turn it, do a few rotations, and then you should be good to go. So usually you won't have, so sadly Adidas didn't include any more than the eight spikes you get, so there's no spares. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but here if you look, since the material in the wrench is slightly harder than the one used for the spikes, don't know if you could see that, but the spikes actually managed to get damaged the first time I was actually putting them in because it slightly like was turning into an odd angle. So that's unfortunate that you don't get a spare, but I mean, it won't affect your performance in such a huge way. Okay, so as I already said, this material is really nice. The also is good. I like the detailed finish of the Adidas logo here and it overall is a really good quality shoe you could pick it up at running warehouse for about $55 right now because they have a nice sale going on the color is also solid when it comes to the new adidas series that they released with the orange so I will make sure to link in the description more stuff from adidas which you can buy so thank you for watching my video. If you liked this content, please like and subscribe and remember to share this video. Thank you for watching.